Here is our list of equipment that we need. This is a 100 milliliter beaker, 150 milliliter beaker, and they're clean and dry. Uh, the alcohol of choice, we're gonna have a pipette that's 25 milliliters for a different part of the lab, a disposable pipette, that little plastic thing, and a pump or a bulb for the pipette. Here we have a scale, and this one's gonna measure to the hundredth of a gram. The first thing we wanna do is to mass and record uh, the 100 milliliter beaker when it's dry and clean. This mass will be constant and we won't have to reweigh it. So zero it out first, weigh it and write it down. Next, we're going to take the beaker off the scale. It's really important, don't pour things while they're on the scale. And we're gonna do our best to put in exactly 20 milliliters of alcohol. Oops, spilled a little bit. So I'm just gonna have um, kind of a reservoir for stuff to use right here because everybody can't have their own bottle. We're gonna pour it in there until it measures 20 milliliters. This is gonna be tough. We need to look at it straight on and so that there's no ellipsis. It looks like a straight line. And we're gonna measure the bottom of the meniscus. The meniscus in this case will curve up. So we measure the middle part, which is the bottom of it. We can use our disposable pipette to add or take out uh, a little bit at a time, and we'll just keep putting it back into our 150 milliliter beaker. So here I'm a little short. I need to add some more to it. Get down, you gotta squat down and look at it straight on. Uh, this camera angles a little bit at an, ang at an angle. We need to look at it so there's a single line going across, not, a, not an ellipse. So I need a little bit more still. It's not on there. It's, it's tough to see. Sometimes you can put a clean white sheet of paper behind it and it's easier to look to see. You can see I'm adding quite a bit just to make it as close to 20 as I can get. Once you think you have it uh, so that the bottom of the meniscus is on the line, we are gonna zero out the scale and weigh it again. So this will be the mass of the beaker and the 20 milliliter alcohol. For this lab, we're using isopropyl alcohol. Some other lab, we may use ethanol or methanol. Great, we're gonna write that down and we're gonna add some more to it. We're gonna add it so it's 40. Since we recorded the mass of the beaker, we don't have to empty it out, zero it out and things like that. We just add more to it. Again, using the disposable pipette to get to as close to 40 as possible with the meniscus bottom of the meniscus touching the line. We weigh that, let it stop flickering, write that mass down, that's the mass of the beaker with the 40 milliliters of alcohol. We can get the mass of the alcohol by just subtracting out the initial mass of the beaker. That beaker's mass is constant. And if we were zeroing it out, it'd be really difficult um, to do this very quickly. You do it for the 60 and the 80, and when you get all done, you pour it back into your storage container and just turn the beakers upside down to dry, and that's it.